Omelette, omelette creation. Sure, go for it. Oh, looking good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, answer. That orange juice is good. I like it, but some people like it. I love, I love it all. I can, because I'm a big coffee guy. Coffee. Yeah. Uh, sure you, you like to take no. I don't know. I mean, you are applying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how, yeah, you can stand on it. And how long did you say you let it sit? All right, Mario got it. Boom. Boom. All right. Brooks, if you're listening, send us a new shoe. Air mail it. <laughs> Oh man. What did that did the other guys know? Yeah, yeah, like, and they it's a Chinese company. And they're trying to buy a bunch of big ultras. Yeah. Iron Man is? Iron Man? Trail yeah. running in China. Dude, it's in China. So good now. Oh yeah. Dude, they're so they, they like. Dude, I'm going to China for eight grand. <laughs> and they pay for everything too. Like they pay for all my accommodation. Like my accommodation. Your body. <laughs> they come back. In the dungeon? Yeah, they come back. Now we see that. That's No, no, no. That is the bus. Almost, almost power hiking. People be going that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's probably going on. Yeah. So probably positioning left. Yeah. Yeah, like this, just just go. Yeah. Try to avoid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then there were two. David and I are racing tomorrow, so we're not doing the full eight mile loop. So we're going back down. Jim, Hayden, and Mario. Are going up. Checking out the whole course. This is checking out the whole course, the short course. This is pretty sweet, I must say. The the here, let me just get a little shot here. I like to show them the dirt. The dirt, the dirt is grippy. It's not like I can tell we can dig in with our with our shoes pretty well. I don't feel like we're gonna be slipping too crazy much through this. So that's nice. A lot of people, a lot of racers. I just saw Peru and France, Ecuador, who else? I see Ireland right in front of me. Shout out to True Love. It's tasty. It's tasty, fueling up. Not bad. Right, David? Yeah, it tastes really good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Lunch is done. Delicious lunch. Back to the cabin to foam roll, rest, kick up the feet. And then we've got the opening ceremonies tonight. So, that'll be good. All right. We got a few minutes here before heading back into town for the opening ceremonies and uh, let's see, I just tried to use the Wi-Fi again, didn't work this time, so that's, uh, you know, I'm just going to remain, we're going to remain flexible on that 5 a.m. publishing time uh, for the remainder of Argentina, 
who knows what's going on. We're kind of, we're really, we really are staying out in the middle of nowhere. So you just gotta roll with the punches sometimes. Um, all right, let's get you, I'm gonna get you the big surprise here in a minute. Uh, we're gonna talk about my race strategy and then just a brief overview of the course. Uh, so my race is tomorrow morning, local time. It's crazy. It's at 11.40 a.m., which I'm actually excited about to catch up on a little bit more sleep. Uh, we run the first two miles is basically on like a dirt road, uh, and then you hit the trail. So it's going to be kind of fast at the beginning, which is definitely going to impact my race strategy. And then you hit the trail. You saw start climbing up the trail there. So it's really... Um, you do, like, it's a, it's a good steep climb. I'm really excited about the footing, uh, the actual dirt that we're running through. It's not, um, it's not too sandy in the sections that we went through, but not to gravel. In Colorado, we can kind of get gravel-based trails. This is a very dirt, earth, uh, d earth dirt uh, type trail. So I'm excited about that. And uh, 2,200 approximately. Someone said 2,500, but anyway, I think I calculated around 2,200 feet of vertical gain and loss. We do cross a couple creeks. That'll be interesting. So our feet are going to get wet. And might as well tell you right now the weather report. Oh boy. Oh man. Wait till you hear this. Periods of rain tomorrow, high of 47 degrees Fahrenheit. That's actually a little chilly. That's why I was pulling out the, 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 long, the, the long sleeves and the gloves and the hat inside the cabin. Uh, winds west-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 100%. There we go. It gets better. Rainfall, near an inch. That's a lot of rain in my humble opinion. Like, that's a lot of rain. So we might be dealing with some muddy conditions tomorrow. We will see. Um, so that's the weather report. And then, yeah, that's the weather report for tomorrow's race. And then let's move on here to the race strategy. Um, I'm going to go out pretty hard, actually. In New Hampshire, when I, how I qualified for this race, um, I went out hard. But this course, again, first two miles on kind of a rolly dirt road, and then you hit the trail. But I don't want to be stuck in the back or in the middle or bottlenecked, basically, when we hit the trail. So, And you know, I was passed. Uh, I was in second place at the top of the mountain in New Hampshire and ended up in third. My descending and downhill running is not the best right now. I haven't really practiced it and like really honed in on it. There's like Andy Wacker, my teammate, and I should just say it's Joe Gray, Andy Wacker, myself, and David Sinclair are the guys running the eight mile. Sh it's called the classic, the classic race or the classic course um, for tomorrow. And so I want to use the uphill big time. Uh, yeah, it's just my strategy. I'm going to go out hard and work the uphill as hard as I possibly can, and then kind of hang on on the descent. And um, I've heard, yeah, and I've heard the descent is very turny from an Irish lad. He told me that I didn't see the descent today, but it's very turny. So there's that. We're off to the ceremony question of the day. Have you ever followed the World Mountain Running Championships before? Um, do you know about this event? Or is this, um, yeah, is this your first time? Or are you like a veteran and you're really plugged into the world mountain running scene, whether it's sky running? Um, so just share a little bit of like, is this your first experience following this event? I hope I can do my best with a camera to communicate to all of you what's happening here. And uh, this is essentially the equivalent of the Doha, uh, is that how you say it? The track and field championships that happened in October over in Doha, Doha, and it's but for mountain running. So it's it's not as big a deal. I get that, but it is. Let's say in our mountain running minds, uh, that's how we're approaching this. All right, let's roll to the opening ceremonies. Oh, I think I covered it all. I think I covered it all. Wow. All right, come on. We get a uh, parade in town. <laughs> Walking down Main Street. Very good. 
Hot though. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Good luck, USA. Cheers. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Belgica. <laughs> it's good. Yes. It's good. <laughs> Seth. Not good to meet you. Good yeah. They, they, they watch the vlog. That's right. There we go. <laughs> From Peru. Yeah, that's awesome. right. Awesome. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Have you never had? Oh. You have the best churro? Have it. All right, churro time. I think that's what you the call it. The parade's taking a little, a little, a little long. So Wacker's uh, providing some, some nourishment for me. All right, churro time. All right, here it is. Boom. Wow, oh, there it is. I think I'll just do that. Okay. I'll Perfect. Hayden, you want a churro? Mmm. All right. It's really good. I know, it's like... Do you want a pizza bite? Our, our, <laughs> our blood sugar levels are like dropping by the minute. <laughs> That was an epic parade. Oh my goodness, shout out to all the locals for coming out and cheering and supporting us. I did not expect that. That was amazing. So you all are amazing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. 82 is the bib number for tomorrow's race. Mada bing, bada boom. Signing off from Argentina. Time to edit, upload, and go to bed. All right, thanks for being here, everyone. Love you, love you. Tossing it back now to uh, a couple vlogs, one from Earlier, uh, two weeks ago, when I raced the New York City Marathon, that was my last race. And then also we're gonna toss it back to uh, the Pikes Peak Ascent, which was also a big race in 2019. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.